Anybody? OK. Uh, well, our next speaker is someone that you're going to want to have in your group when the zombies come to town. Um, not only is Tyler Thompson the current manager of the Outdoor Leadership Center, he's also captain of the CSBSJU Nordic Ski Team. Um, so he'll be able to keep you, help keep you alive in the summer and in the winter. So all good skills uh, while you're you know, roaming the Minnesota wilderness. Um, but keep in mind that Tyler, despite the, his love of nature, he does have a secret that might uh, one day keep him from elected office. And that secret is he is afraid of snakes. Uh, for all of the love of nature that he has, Tyler will jump into your arms Scooby-Doo style um, at the sight of a snake. So please welcome Tyler Thompson. Thank you, Pogi. So today, I'm going to share something with you that has played a large role in my own life, but also the lives of many other Bennies and Johnnies. Now, this past fall, Nature RX, which is a group dedicated to promoting the outdoors, released a series of short commercials promoting their prescription drug, Nature. And they did this in a comical way that took a very, I guess, mocking approach of your average pharmaceutical commercial. Now, research shows that spending time in nature has its benefits. It makes people happier, healthier, have less stress, an increased concentration, a greater connection to the natural environment, and it can even help people age in a much less painful way. Now, every fall, first-year students have the opportunity to start their college experience in nature at St. Ben's and St. John's, and that is through what's called College Bound. College Bound is a pre-orientation program where students choose to participate in a rock climbing, canoeing, backpacking, or camping trip prior to the start of the on-campus orientation. Now this trip is more than just a canoeing and rock climbing trip, but it allows first-year students the opportunity to make friendships with their future classmates, gain a better sense of who they are as an individual, learn valuable skills that they'll use throughout their next four years, and make that transition into college. Now the College Bound program first began back in 1987, and after nearly 30 years, it has impacted the lives of more than 1,000 students that have participated in this optional program. And it's truly a once in a lifetime experience to spend this one week in transition to college with your future classmates, friends, and mentors in this wilderness setting. Now with the philosophy of It's Your Trip, each group of students just decides their own daily, their daily journey, their canoe route, their meals, their campsites. So the power of the, the, the decision making power of the trip is in their hands. And groups of students are made up of seven to nine first years with two to three current students that facilitate each of these trips. And these facilitators are there to ensure the safety of the students, but also offer guidance, support, and really serve as a resource and mentor for these students, not only on the trip, but also back on campus as they begin their college experience. Students who participate in College Bound come from all over the United States and sometimes even the world. Last year, we had a student from China who participated, and it was her first time coming to the United States. And this, uh, this range of experiences allows students to learn from those students in the group that maybe have more outdoors experience and this peer-to-peer -peer learning environment also allows students really to effectively work together, building their teamwork, communication skills, facilitating the self-growth amongst each individual, focusing on their leadership development, all things that they're going to use while they're at college. Now, the relationships formed between these students in each group, the students and the current student facilitators, really serve as the building blocks and kind of the, the beginnings of their college experience, something that's truly invaluable going into your first year of college. Now many students say they wish they could go on College Bound over and over again, from forming these friendships to spending time in the outdoors and transitioning using this nature into college is truly invaluable and re remarkable from the outcomes we've seen. Now this past fall in 2015, College Bound reached a new milestone as our participation nearly doubled from the previous year of 33 participants up to 63, which is the largest trip we've ever had. And this fall we're planning for 100 students in which over 40 are currently signed up right now. Now these growing numbers of participation are not just being seen here on College Bound, but rather all across the United States, as there are nearly 200 outdoor orientation programs at four-year colleges and universities in the country. The first of these programs began back in 1934 at Dartmouth College, 
And currently, every Ivy League institution has an outdoor orientation program. Now, of these 200 programs, many of them are optional and serve as a pre-orientation experience like College Bound, where students register and pay a fee to participate. But other programs are now becoming mandatory because research conducted by college administrators, professionals in the outdoor field, have shown that students who participate in these outdoor orientation programs prior to the start of their first year of college have had higher retention rates, better academic success and higher GPAs, and the students have higher perceived student development outcomes. Now from a student's perspective, you make friends early on before you even start college. You gain a better sense of, or higher confidence as you go into college. And you kind of gain that sense of community even before you start college as well, something that we at St. Ben's and St. John's have a lot of. Now, what sets College Bound apart from other pre-orientation programs at colleges are two things. The first one is the autonomous student learning experience that we have, and the second is our final night of camping in Grand Marais. So the current students who facilitate these trips are facilitators. They're not trip leaders or trip guides. So they're there to help the first year students lead their own trip. And that's what helps these students learn these valuable skills that they'll use while they're in college. And on the last night of the trip, all of the students who participate in College Bound come together and camp in Grand Marais for the final night. So whether you went on a rock climbing, a canoeing, a backpacking trip, you have the opportunity to meet these 60 students who all participated in the College Bound trip. So the opportunity to make even more lasting friendships before you start college. Now, what defines the success of this program after 27 years is not just that it's been in existence for so long, or that these numbers of participation are increasing, but rather, it's seeing these friendships formed by these students on that final night, knowing the lasting impact that this trip will have on them, and how strong that these friendships will last them, not only at their four years of college, but beyond that, once they're graduated into their career. Now, having participated in the trip as an incoming student, led the trip for two years and coordinated the growth and the planning of this trip this past year, I would attribute much of my success in college to going on College Bound and spending that week in the outdoors with those people that I met. Now while College Bound is only available to first year students at St. Ben's and St. John's, these outdoor experiences can be emulated in so many ways for people of all ages. There are endless opportunities for you your family, your friends, and your coworkers to orient yourself in the outdoors. So whether it's a transition from high school to college, from college to a career, from one career to the next, or even week by week, these outdoor adventures serve as transformational experiences for any type of transition throughout life. These experiences are great times for reflection, a fresh start, and really to renew yourself in the outdoors. Now, Sigurd Olson once said that people go outside into the wilderness for many things. The most important is, is perspective. You take trips, you may go for fishing or for scenery or for the companionship, but in reality it's something much deeper and that we go to the wilderness for the goods of our souls. Now, whether it's a short walk in the woods, a week-long trip to the Boundary Waters, a six-month through hike on the Appalachian Trail, my message tonight for you is to take some time for yourself in the outdoors. Disconnect, turn off your phone, connect with the natural environment, relax, refresh, and renew yourselves for these new experiences that will come next throughout our lives. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>